Hello and welcome to a very special edition of the Movie Podcast. My name is Daniel, I am one of your hosts today, and joining alongside me is my brother Shabazz. Hello Shabazz. Hello, 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 and hello. Oh, I, I appreciate the extra hellos for everyone who's going to be joining us on this episode today because it's a stacked episode. I didn't want to really miss. Is. I didn't want to miss a single person. I wanted to make sure that everyone got their hello. I love it. I appreciate you doing that, Shay. How are you doing though? I'm doing great. Uh, you know, um, I, I, I was gonna. I feel like I was prepared with an answer last time. Like in my head, I'm like, <laughs> when when Daniel asked me how I'm doing, I'm gonna come at it full force with a really good answer. Oh. And as soon as you asked me, I'm like. How how am I doing? Uh, you know, I'm doing great. Um, I I showed my dog his first movie the other day. Wow! So your dog has never seen like a screen before? He no. We we've kept him screenless, uh, just like most parents do with their kids nowadays. Keep the screen uh, time down, right? Keep the keep screen, the screen time, down. time down. No, he just yeah. he, he never like actually like you know when he sits with us and watches a movie. He doesn't really really do. And also the movies have no dogs in them. But I put on. Lady and the Tramp, the 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 newer one that you know the remake, the live action one that like came the out. live action one that that came out on Disney Plus. Correct. So I put that on for him, and he was very engaged. I think he knew what was happening, like he understood yeah. it. He didn't need subtitles, which he, is great. No, he's probably lived that life before. You know? <laughs> he's, he's lived that life. I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. Uh, Your dog has a secret life, you know. Okay, well, secret life that he's living. Let's be honest here. All pets have secret lives. The secret life of pets. I think there's a movie about that as well. Too. Never heard of it. Uh, <laughs> Never. Heard of it. <laughs> I believe it's, it's called funny, Super you know, Pets. Like, yeah, Super Pets. That's the one. Uh, you know, we're just talking about screen time. I was at IKEA today, uh, purchasing some stuff. So we're we're almost back to normal in the movie podcast studio. It's, it's looking great. It's looking great. It's looking nice, right? It's looking nice. But I was p- uh, picking up some final touches, and I heard this. You know, these two parents behind me talking about their screen time for their kids ah. um, and then they were like yeah you know did i don't remember the name as a kid so they're like <laughs> yeah did uh did uh twiddle dear twiddle dumb like mention anything to you about screen time oh where are they from um, i wonder <laughs> and they're like uh he's like no but they said i'm on the computer too much like the dad said he's uh, on the computer too much i'm like ah they see that kids they kids are that. talking back way too much nowadays eh? back when we they were are. kids we yeah. said a single word to our parents smack right across the face oh my god we had the fear of god oh yeah you know, we had the fear of god yeah <laughs> you know the kid the kids are also teenagers probably no, I'm kidding, they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're gro- <laughs> grown adults i believe grown adults yeah they're in their mid-20s now uh but you know speaking of screen time and speaking of things that you could watch on your screen you know there is a bountiful amount of streaming services out but one of the ones that we always love talking about is apple tv plus and i think from its inception there's been such a wealth of just incredible shows and movies on there and the film we're talking about today um and the people we're joined by today uh are no exception to that today we're talking about raymond and ray we had the pleasure of talking to the cast and director at tiff which feels like an eon ago at this point because time just time is just wild nowadays nothing like a, a month ago feels like 10 years ago but we had the opportunity to talk to some incredible people from this film, including uh, Ewan McGregor, Ethan Hawke, uh, Sophie Okinito, Maribel Verdu, and director Rodrigo Garcia for Raymond and Ray, which is going to be on today, if you're listening to this on release. Uh, Shay, I would love for you to tell our audience more about it. For sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we were talking about Raymond and Ray, which is an Apple TV Plus exclusive movie, and it was also at TIFF. The film stars Ewan McGregor, Ethan Hawke, as long-estranged half-brothers who reunite to bury their father. The film also stars Maribel Verdu, as you mentioned, Daniel, uh, Tom Bauer, uh, Vlon- Vondi Curtis Hall and Sophie Okonedo. And, uh, you know, it's directed by Rodrigo Garcia, as you mentioned, and Raymond Ray will premiere globally on Apple TV Plus October 21st, which is either today or if you're listening to us on a different day, it was that day that it came out on. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. It was it was it is available now based on the time that you're listening to this or watching this on YouTube, wherever exactly. you're watching the movie podcast, be it on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Letterboxd, wherever you're engaging with us on social media. Uh, you know, make sure you say hello. Make sure you let us know if you like what we're doing. There are so many ways to get in contact with us. Hello at the movie podcast.ca is the best place to, you know, to send your feedback, send your suggestions, send your comments, questions, concerns. Uh, but we have such a great presence on social media right now. We'd love engaging there. So please, 
if you have a social media account, again, I'm making it sound like we're so much older saying, get a <laughs> yeah. social media Why'd account. Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> yeah. Do you, are you on the World Wide Web? Yeah. No, like if you're on Instagram. Ask your you're parents Instas, before you can go online. <laughs> Yeah. If you're on the Instas, if you're tweeting it up, you know, at the movie podcast, that's the place to go. And of course, episodes of the movie podcast may end, but that doesn't mean the conversation has to stop. Join us on Discord. We're having a lot of fun there. We're having a lot of great conversations there. Shay's asking some really great questions every single week. And we're, you know, we're getting a lot of people just stirring the pot, which I really like. A lot of a lot of pot stirring, a lot of questions and comments and, you know, engagement, you know, on Andor, on the Rings of Power and She-Hulk and so much more. You made it sound like narcs for a second there, the way that you were saying yeah. uh, we, we are on social media it's like yeah you know yeah. You, at us <laughs> at us <laughs> let us know let us know uh but you know as shay said you know we he gave you the breakdown of raymond and ray like we said this is going to be available now on apple tv plus and it is a great film we had the privilege of watching it during tiff we got to speak to some incredible people from it and i'm just so excited to get to that uh but shay before we dive into it i'd love to know just before we get into our interviews you know what are your highlights from Raymond and Ray? It's one of those movies where we're talking about a, I think, I think one of my favorite parts about this movie generally was how you had to subvert your expectations about what to expect next. I thought it was just going right. to be a straightforward, a strange half brothers movie. And it, it really, it, it is in the beginning. And then it just kind of keeps pulling the veil away and you start to see how complex like you think your relationship and your life is complex i i just feel bad for you and mcgregor and ethan hawk at this point because what their characters go through is is heartwarming at the same time just absolutely mind melting like if i was in right. their shoe i kept thinking what would i do in this scenario and there's a lot of right. turns that these characters take to discover themselves and it, it's interesting because when you're at the age they're at in this movie society deems it that you're supposed to be already set like you should already kind of know right. everything about yourself everything should be good but they're on a self-discovery path later in their lives and it's so interesting because it kind of just lets you know that there is no timeline for self-discovery there is no timeline right. you set for yourselves and life will throw its curveballs at you and no matter what you'll never be prepared for it but the ride that you go on will shape who you are going to become and who you will be at the end of the day Right. You know, we you know, we spoke about this recently as well, too, on the movie podcast that, you know, typically when we talk about a coming of age story, it's a coming of age of, <laughs> you know, from being, you know, a, a, a child or an adolescent to young adulthood. Right. But this really is a coming of age story, but it's coming of a different age. Mm -hmm. And all stories are coming of age stories when you when you think of it in that respect. Right. right. Uh, but this film really connected with us. And, I'm, I, you know, you could listen to our review of it from TIFF. So if you want to go back in the feed, we have some great episodes from TIFF covering all the films there. Uh, but if you want to go back a little bit, go check out our, you know, our initial thoughts of Raymond and Ray. Um, and really quickly, before we get to our interviews as well, I just want to remind you that today's episode of the movie podcast is sponsored by Mubi. If you want to see how you could get a full month of incredible cinema for free, stay tuned to later in the show. You won't want to miss it. We have all the details in our show notes below. We've been loving using Mubi, um, and you're going to hear us talk a lot more about it very, very soon. But without further ado, we have three incredible interviews to bring to you. First up will be director Rodrigo Garcia, followed by Maribel Verdu, Sophie Ucanito, and then going right into uh, Ewan McGregor and Ethan Hawke. So stay tuned for all of that, and please welcome them to the movie podcast. Rodrigo, thank you so much for your time today and sure. for talking to us on the movie podcast. And congrats on the premiere last night as well, too. Thank you. Great fun. How is it feeling being in Toronto, being able to show this in front of an audience, this Canadian audience here for you? You know, this festival is still a great place to premiere a movie. It's always, a, you know, a great audience, sophisticated and, and the real movie lovers. And, you know, a venue like, you know, the Roy Thompson Hall is... Uh, old fashioned film stuff, just not old fashioned. I mean, the old way, meaning a major venue with a fantastic screen. So a right. real pleasure. And I'm curious for yourself, uh, when you're writing a film like this and you're directing a film like this, you know, how much does having you and McGregor and Ethan Hawke influence you in what you're writing and what, what did they bring to the roles? And was there any changes when they were attached to the film? You know, when I'm writing, I'm as I'm writing and the script develops, I'm thinking of all kinds of actors and I'm not casting. I'm just trying to get inspired by different uh, people. Um, you know, once you have you and, and Ethan, then, you know, you, you, they just bring so much to it. You know, the story had 
you know, craziness in it, but they brought in the humor and, and, and the reactions a little bit of, you know, they, they made it more human. That's what, that's what, you know, good, good actors do. They take these situations that sometimes they're a little tightly wrapped right. and they breathe air into them and, and make Raymond and Ray two real people. It's funny you say breathing into it because I was just thinking about, you know, Ray as a trumpet player and how much playing the trumpet is that cathartic expression and how he conveys emotion. And I'm wondering for yourself, you know, does music play a role when you're writing a film like this? Are you like, where, where does music take you when you're working on it? I always, you know, I, it, it always helps me to find a piece of music or a song or a classical piece. Um, it often has nothing to do with the movie in the end and I don't use it, but there's something in a tone. And right now I can't even remember what it was for this movie, but I know there's always a playlist that takes me where I need to be or where I feel I need to be when I'm writing. There's some really funny moments in this film, but it's also just balanced with just such just sorrow as well. And, and I'm wondering, how do you balance that? I mean, we, we have two incredible actors uh, at the, as the leads of this film. But when you're when you're creating this film, how are you balancing that it's just not you know just not a funeral? Like how how do we make this that it's it's accessible for for viewers as well? Well, I mean, funerals are interesting, and I've seen movies that are just about funerals that 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 I'm interested in. Right. You know, I like the fact that things got extreme here because their relationship with the father was extreme because the father. I think is still trying to screw with them from beyond the grave. Yes. So, you know, I concentrated on the, on the, the craziness and the extreme behavior and the extreme situations and the actors brought the humor into it. Right. And, and I think, um, you know, humor always helps and the more dramatic the movie, the more useful the laughs are. Definitely. And, and I think this, this film does a wonderful job with that. And, um, we loved it and Thank I'm you. so excited for more audience to be able to watch it on, on Apple TV plus later this year. So. Thank you so much for your time and all the best with the rest of your time here in Toronto. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you, Maribel, so much for joining us today on the podcast. Uh, you both look so lovely. I absolutely love the movie and your performance in it as well. Thank you. Yeah. Maribel, you said that you've always wanted to work with Rio Garcia as a director. You know, what about his filmmaking, you know, really wanted you to, as an artist to kind of work with him? You know, Rodrigo was my obsession. Mm -hmm. during many years, you know, to the typical question you used to do. Uh, Maribel, what would you like to work with? I always, always said, Rodrigo García, Rodrigo García, Rodrigo García. And suddenly, the, my dream <laughs> came true. Really. Amazing. It was amazing. That's amazing. amazing. Sophie, for, for Kira, yeah, she gets pulled into this family dynamic all of a sudden. It's, it's kind of out of her own control. Why do you think her character kind of stayed? Do you know, this is a question I was asking myself quite a lot. And I kept asking Rodrigo, and he's quite evasive about really giving you strong answers about your character. What's your, so I kind of would change my mind all the time while I was filming. <laughs> about Yeah, and give myself different reasons all the time. I kept thinking, why doesn't she just leave at this point? Why doesn't she leave at this point? And so I would just find one little thing in what I was playing to then, I mean, I think part of it is that it's quite fascinating what it in in uh, evolves in front of her, mm -hmm. and it's you know her day off. <laughs> and she thought I could go home and watch television, or I could just watch television right near right. and see the drama. So <laughs> yes, live action drama, right? Yeah, now. yeah. And also, Ethan Hawke isn't bad to look at. So. No, no, no. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's a handsome. I just talked to him right now, and uh, it was hard to keep uh, keep it straight. Okay. Yeah. You're such a handsome man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's very handsome. For both of you here, like, what is something that you really want, you know, people to take away from after watching this movie? I want them to have a lot. I want them to laugh. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah, I think definitely that it's so laugh. nice to go yeah. to a film, even to have sort of, it's about something, it resonates, it's about family, grief, you know, processing grief, and yet you can also have a few big laughs. That's right. Really good for enjoyment and be entertained. Yeah, be entertained. It's basic, yeah. and uh, I always want to entertain. And I would like people I uh, can learn to forgive after watching this movie. Yeah, I, I because the the forgiveness is the best thing in the world. It happened to me the past something very important, and when I forgive, for, so really forgive, ah, it's the, the, wings, the it's most incredible relief, relief in the life. So I hope people can learn. So from, from this, some forgiveness. From this, yeah, movie. That's amazing. Well, 
Well, yeah. thank you so much again for joining us. Thank show. you. Um, I really hope people get a chance to watch this and enjoy it as much as I did. Thank That's, you, Ramon. It was phenomenal. Oh, oh so thank you. Thank you. So thank you. Thank thank you I'm blessed to hear you say that. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. You know, Ethan, you looked phenomenal last night with your sparkly suit. Thank and you. Thank you. You and you as well. You and Mary looked great. Mary did look a little better than you, though. I'm so sorry. How dare you? I <laughs> know. No, she said it. Of course she did. Ethan, you know, you're no stranger to playing trumpets in previous roles that you've done in your life. Was this something that you brought to the character or was this something that was already incorporated into the script prior? You know, this, I felt this way when I read it. I felt like this character is right. It's positioned for me in a way that I understand intimately. I'm, and I, I love music my whole life. I'm, I'm such a music fan. I had played Chet Baker before. Mm. The whole world, the jazz world is something I know a lot about. I have a lot of love for. And so Ray, was, it was an easy fit for me. I felt like the first character in a, a few years that I, I could just try to disappear completely into try to do as little work as possible. Uh, you and Free you've known Ethan for so many years now. Was, what was the experience like kind of playing these two characters that don't really see eye to eye? It was amazing. I mean, Ethan and I met a long time ago, like you say, um, when he was making Gattaca with Jude Law and Jude and I were mates. And so we met each other then. And at that stage in our careers, you know, when one of us got a job, it was like a, it was like this big, big deal. Et deal, big energy around it. And for sure, I felt like I'm going to be, I'm going to work with Ethan next. And, and it's just taken a long, long time for that to happen. And we don't really, we didn't know each other in that period of time, although we were both fans of, you know, we're both aware of each other's career. I felt, always felt that there was this, um, like a, a likeness in our, in our work, the people, the kinds of people we worked with, the kind of movies we made and our just relentless worth it, work, work ethic. ethic. It was just worked all the time. I just always felt like there was something similar about us. And uh, that one day it would be an amazing experience to work with Ethan. And it was true. This, it, it, it was worth the wait. Is there something that you guys learned about yourselves from each other's characters that you've now kind of applied to your own life? I would love for that to be true. That if, or if I could find a way to say that, that would make sense. You have these experiences working together and obviously you learn and obviously things happen. I, I sometimes don't know for a few years what it was. Mm -hmm. Um, I know that it's unique to be as like-minded as the two of us are. I, I know I don't come across that very often. It was wonderful for me to, to get to, you You and Rodrigo had made a movie together. They had a natural trust mm -hmm. with one another that I loved because when you feel confident, it's easier for me to feel confident. When you guys trust each other, you had a natural end to him. If there was something that was kind of bugging me, I could ask you about it. And you can, well, give Rodrigo five minutes about that, or let me talk to him, or... Mm -hmm. It was very, there was a band-like quality, right? Y y you know, that I felt like I was joining this band that had a lot of trust with each other and they had a lot of trust in me. Exactly. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thanks. I was sure I wish we had more time. Amazing. And I oh, could also see it. Oh, All good. Right. Thank you very thank much. You. And welcome back. Shay, you had the opportunity to talk to two of our heroes, uh, two people who've made, you know, big impacts this year within the world of like Disney plus shows like Moon Knight and Obi-Wan Kenobi with uh, Ethan Hawke and Ewan McGregor. But also the thing that I love about them is that they are, they are so open to doing all projects and they just, I think look for the best projects for them, be it big blockbuster shows or movies or, you know, stories about the heart and stories about coming of age. What was it like being in the room with them? I saw them from afar. I oh, I saw the the door open, and I locked eyes with them, and I just felt like I was being transported. They were sucking me into their aura, um, and then you kind of walked out. I think a changed person. I did. I um, it was a shell shock. Uh, you know, the time goes by really quickly when you're when you're sitting in that room, but at the same time, not going by fast enough, where you're kind of just stressed out. You're like. Oh my God, I just want to get these questions and not make a fool yeah. of myself. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And then when it ends, you're like, oh, but that's it? And, but like, there's that, yeah. there's this weird back and forth mentally that you're kind of playing with yourself. And it was fantastic. I mean, Ethan Hawke and Ewan McGregor are just, I mean, so far, everyone that we've had the opportunity to, to converse with while doing the movie podcast, everyone's been phenomenal. Now that we're finally getting the opportunity to do it in person, you're really going to get to see a lot more of these nuances that people have. Like, you know, Ethan and Ewan immediately right away were like 
trying to shake my hand, and I'm like, oh, right, uh, like thank, thank, give me your hand, yeah, give, give me your hand, Shay. Oh, son of a, I'm like, okay, okay, fine, fine. <laughs> um, and we just we just had a great time talking, and they were they loved my name. They were like, it sounds so unique, and I'm like, thank you so much. Uh, but they're they're just great people. Um, they they have an aura, like you mentioned, Daniel, that immediately kind of just sucked you in. I mean, you were outside the room, right. and you were being vacuumed in as if like I was. I yeah, felt it. Yeah, I felt me be like, oh, like I'm, they're trying to get me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the that that is is very prevalent there, and I think just the kind of people that they are, it's fantastic. It is, and you know, and you know, I had the chance to talk with uh, Rodrigo Garcia, who is the director of the film, who's just so passionate about what he's created, um, and there is such a realness in this film, and I think that's what we talk about a lot in our review, especially with Sophie uh, Okinito and Maribel Verdu, just how their performances feel, just like real people. It's so genuine. It doesn't feel like they're putting on these big performances. And I think that's such a, such a, a talent that only the most skilled, I think actors have where they could have something feel so natural right. and not feeling like they are putting on a show. They are putting on a clinic, but they're doing it because they're just so damn good at it. I, I almost felt more nervous about Sophie and Maribel because in, in the movie, the, the way that they are, like once you watch the film, you'll kind of see that they're very commanding in their presence as well. Right. And, right. And it almost felt like, I almost felt like if I went in that room, Sophie would just call me out on like my, my questions or something like, like not a good question. <laughs> or like, I don't know. Just, just something where she'd be like, you could have done better. I'm like, I'm sorry. So I'm trying, I'm trying. Um, they were so nice. <laughs> but they were so like, they were so yeah. like, it was mind blowing how nice they were. And you kind of go and you're like, Oh my God you're not as intimidating as your character was in the movie. And I really appreciate that, right. but they were just so full of life and my God, they're just, they're stunning to look at as well. They're, they're such nice yeah. people. All of them, you know, the entire cast, entire you know, you and cast. Ethan, Maribel, Sophie, not a um, bad looking and, group and, and, and director Rodrigo Garcia, you know, just uh, only the best looking people apparently <laughs> on this film. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I just want to say, uh, I just want to say again, thank you to our friends at Apple TV, uh, for making this happen, Apple TV Plus for making this happen. Uh, we are so lucky to be working with them. We love pretty much everything that they've been putting out on the service, which is pretty amazing. And we cannot wait to see what comes next as they have a pretty big slate coming for the rest of the year still. So uh, there's going to be lots to look forward to, lots to look forward to on that and, and on that streaming service. Shay, any final thoughts from our discussion today? I know we've been we've been waiting to share this interview, this full interview for a while. You know, we've been sitting on it for a little while, but we did want to release it in line with the film so you could watch the film, watch our interviews and, you know, really kind of immerse yourselves in the world of Raymond and Ray. Any other final thoughts before we wrap up? No, I think just for everybody that, you know, give the movie a chance. If you have Apple TV Plus, uh, this is this is one of those movies that you're really going to find something you connect with, whether it's not immediate, right. whether it's not literal. There is a point of this film where you'd be like, I can I can see why this is happening and where I've been in my life with this scenario. So definitely give it a watch and and, and give the interview a listen because it'll, well, you already did because of the end of it. So I guess that yes. part is <laughs> moot. So let us know what you thought of the interview and let us know please if there's something else you wanted to know about these characters because we'd love to talk to them again one day and we'll see yes. what happens. 100%. As always, you could catch a brand new episode of the movie podcast every single Monday. We are back on October 24th with our main episodes. It's been a while, but we are coming back with the main episode and you're going to love it. This is this is sounding threatening. It vaguely is threatening, but we are very excited to be back with our main episodes as well as so many other reviews and episodes that you could catch out Catch right now, catch out. You can catch <laughs> right now on the movie, pod, uh, movie podcast feed, including our interview with Aldous Hodge of Black Adam, our Black Adam review, and so much more. Look forward to all of that. Make sure you're following us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Letterboxd. Right into the show at hello at the movie podcast.ca and join our Discord. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, do all that other YouTube stuff that you got to do. And let us know if you like what we're doing because we love what we're doing and we want to keep doing it. And we will. That is a threat. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> we're not going to stop. Uh, but thank you so much again for listening. That was this time with the movie podcast. And we'll see you next.